Okay, finally, we are live. Fantastic. Finally, my phone is answering, so that's great. So I can see your comments perfectly. And, um... Hello everyone, hello Rigged Gamer, hello Tomahawk, how you lads doing? Perfect time for you to join, you didn't miss any of the action so far. Couldn't even do the intro, you were that quick on the button. Yeah, hello, Ma hello Michael, how you doing? Right, so uh, let me explain you before we get on to this properly, shall we? Now, I'm going to save uh, behind the scenes and I decided to try out the extreme rules with Crawley Town. I randomly selected them and it's been a team that has been under my radar, to be honest. And I've tried to do that in FIFA 17 and it just didn't pan out, ended up doing Hartlepool instead. So, I decided to, cho uh, to choose them to do this kind of experiment. Now, I must say that the extreme rules uh, are very good uh, compared to your normal YSL experience. Especially for the ones that look for a challenge. And yeah, I'm just going to show you the squad that I've amounted over, what, eight, nine years in this save? Yeah. Hello, Andrew. How are you doing? <laughs> this is about to go live. Yeah. Okay. So, so we're going to do a squad report. I'm going to show you my squad. We've got Declan Richardson, overall of 74, gonna buy two. Looking amazing. Just didn't have the time to become our number one goalkeeper. And Elder Bastos, not gonna really talk about him because he just joined in the last season. Then Joni Haradaki, this guy, 87 overall, gonna buy two. This guy is a very interesting story. I found him earlier in my years with uh, Crawley in the lower leagues and he popped up somewhere, I, I'm not sure which club, I think it was Preston. And it was a has potential to be special keeper, I had to pick him up. He was fantastic against us. Joey Ondan, overall of 85, looks pretty decent. We triggered the release clause on him, he played for Inter Milan. Literally the only keeper of rather key quality that I could pick up on the 30 million so um, yeah Joey Ondan, Ronnie Ondan's brother so uh, that's good then uh, <laughs> yeah Bang Wang Grey mate 76 overall gonna buy two of course I had to keep Bang Wang around even if he's not the best of players he is an exciting prospect. He has grown on that status without me actually touching the guy, which is nice. So, uh, yeah. Just uh, bang bang, isn't it? Right, Marcus Martala, overall of 82, gone up by three. He's been, on, been here for quite a while. We found him in the free agents list, like some of these players. Actually, let me tell you which these guys came from. So, Richardson and Bastos came from the academy. Bang Wang from the academy as well later on. But he played uh, at least two, three seasons with us. So, he's got some history at the club. This guy's been us from, like, League One Championship. Uh, then, Mikel von Balmus. Great name as well. Unfortunately, he won't play in the Champions League final because he's got a one-match ban. But I wouldn't play him anyway. I would play Martel out, so I wasn't pissed. Great right-back. Picked him up from Estoril Praia from Portugal. 
Somehow they managed to get hold of this young prospect. He is Lichtsteiner's region. Hands down. Then Juan Moresco, overall of 79, gonna bite through. And enjoyed a massive tenure at the club. Been basically around from like simply every time. Any Czech player? No, unfortunately, no. Came from the academy. Then Sergio Moya Martinez, 78 overall. He is Sergio Ramos's region. Nicola Bazzelli, we picked up on the free. I think he was from Atalanta. He's got a fancy flick trait, which is not really the best for a centre back, is it? Then Andre Lima Mendes, free agents guy. Lucky enough to find him just before in the championship so we could pick him up. It was about the limit of overall that we could pick up, so we did. Claudemir Selva Essa, overall of 81. Picked him on a free as well from Borussia Dortmund. And he was around that rating as well. Christian Enzo Peixe Barreto, great name. Overall of 83, gone up by one. Great defender, another from the free agents list. And uh, he has done left back for us for a long time. But now he can play centrally. Because I'm playing Lima Mendes there. Rafael Giorgino Diaz Baloli, great name. He is the Thiago Silva region. Picked him up because he's 6 6 in the final season. Then Velson Emilio de Almeida Montero just reached the 80 overall. I think he's Dante's region. Quality player or Naldo's. Might be Naldo's. Then George Martin, he came from the academy. 76 overall, gonna buy two. Nothing special. Unfortunately, even though I quite like to play with the guy. John Vassell, overall of 81, gonna buy one. See, the first time he came in the. Uh, first time he came into the club, he was a free agent. And we decided to move him on because we didn't feel he was good enough. Funny enough, he turned out to grow a lot in overall, and we decided to pick him up, especially because we didn't have a left back. Apart from Martin. And I didn't think he was good enough for the Premier League. He doesn't play starter anyway. So, but I think it's good to have a natural left back at the club. Especially one that's already been here. The major con with him is 5'9". Then Eduardo Esteban Mestre Silvera. He is Marcelo's regen. Fantastic finesse shot taker. And uh, yeah, just a beast in general. Just didn't have the time to grow, unfortunately. He came from a Spanish club. He didn't come from the free agents list. We picked him up this year. I think it was this year, actually. Or maybe late last season. Just before the summer transfer window hit. Then Carlos Cambados, overall of 82, gonna buy one. A fantastic holding midfielder. He is Vidal's region. Jill Dantas da Silva, overall of 83, gonna buy one. Don't know which region he is, but he is a quality looking player. Plays for the Portuguese national side alongside uh, uh, Lima Mendes. Six foot five, he can play as centre back as well, which is really helpful. He can play on the wings as well, on the wing back spots. Vincent Veritu, overall of 86, gonna buy two. I rate that name as well. Fantastic player, been with us for a long, long time. He is a Parisian, I just don't, I'm not sure which one is it. I think it is Matuidi's. And the other one, Clement Ambre, overall of 83, gonna buy one. He is a region, and I think it is Tuvalan's region. Then Jurgen Stans, right winger, Dutch, you know what this is. This is Robin's region, he even has the hair. Even has the hair. Four star, three star. What a player. Then uh, the start of this, the start of this save, and what really made me carry on 
was Billy Morgan because get ready he is five star five star and uh, it is not that great physically because we decided to rush this to this year I thought I'd seen uh, like a couple more seasons but I just didn't have the time so I had to train him in this technicals to make him look a lot better than he actually is stats wise but skill wise he's probably be the better player in this team just like Roses in Colchester Alexandro Molina overall of 87 gonna buy two this guy came out of nowhere we found him scouting and he played for Sassuolo I think decided to pick him up and he turned out to be a decent prospect last year he was already like 83 overall and Mark Serrano Santos he's been for us for a long time he was a free agent we picked up in the second or third year and he's grown to an 81 overall which is very nice and Joseph Bacata another free agent list just to make up the numbers but he's a quality centre mid he is Hamtix's regen then Uygar Altintas a pre-contract player we picked up last year just to make up the numbers Eric Garcia Rivera had been for us for a long time at least for two three years actually no more than that I think it was four years and uh, 80 overall he is Iniesta's region I can see that from his positioning yeah fair enough Lawrence Chardonnay overall of 91 gonna buy two and this guy was an absolute steal for another club who wears red as well and of course that is Bayern Munich just like Stans he came from Bayern Munich as well Chardonnay came on a free when he was about 88 overall which was a couple of seasons ago at 23 overall picked him up on a free which was an absolute steal and there's Fabio Perez he's not the scout future star here just promoted in this year and um, actually at the end of last year just before this year started but not really anyone to be honest picking up players for the Portuguese national job as well but that didn't materialize Jean-Louis Lima Haritra what a name that is what I call a great fucking name 88 overall gone up by one this was the guy who chased all series and the guy is four star three star he he was a free agent at the start but he uh, was over the overall that we could pick up so he joined Granada instead and they went down to Liga 1-2-3 in Spain which is the second division and when he turned 23 we were able to pick him up on a free so um, fair news we got revenge on Granada from stealing him from us so uh, that's fantastic 90, 95 pace he's just a god isn't he and Damien Viala just a bit part time player 79 overall gone up by one just to fill up the options he's been for us for a while at least he joined us when he was a 70 from the free agents list must have been three four years ago as well Fernando Braga another player that we just didn't materialize because he came so late on in the series he looks like Brandon Rose almost looks very similar to him Ben Rekic overall of 80 this guy has been with us for a long long time came from the lower leagues he survived he grew to an 80 overall I trained him up a bit as well and the guy turned out to be a decent even a central defensive midfielder turned out to be a decent defensive midfielder even though he's defending his 42 which is fantastic then Salomon Torres Morales we picked him up from Norwich this guy was fantastic and we what we scouted him randomly we were searching for the players in the safe of the this episode as well which I'm gonna show you in a second and uh, we we steal them from uh, from a free as well from Norwich when he turned 23 24 I'm not sure when it was like last season yeah at the club since 2025 
literally just joined this season. It was the missing piece, to be honest. Daniel Carmona Bonet, overall of 84, gonna buy two. This guy came from the free agents list. And this guy is David Silva's regen. What a player he is. Fortunately, he doesn't have silver space. He is quicker than that. And uh, Sebastian Barbieri, he came from Sevilla. Similar to Colchester United's Conti. This guy played against us uh, with Sevilla and he had the five-star skill move, so I had to pick him up. I think we faced him in a preseason tournament and this guy tore us to bits. So uh, we decided to pick him up eventually. Liam Coker, overall of 79, gonna buy two. This guy's been with us for a long, long time. I think he joined us in League One when he was about 17, 18 years of age when he popped up in the free agents list. Fantastic player. He could play striker, central attack midfielder, even on the, the wings on the Christmas tree formation. Ewan Evans overall of 79, gonna buy three. This guy was fantastic as well. But then again, he just didn't have the time to materialize because I thought I'd see him a bit more set, a bit more years in the save. But he is a youth academy prospect, one of the few to be honest. But he has survived that. We were a bit lucky with a couple of players, but the rest we just had to offload at some point. Then Filippo Benedetti, this guy was fantastic in the lower leagues for us. I decided to pick him up at the end of January because he was a legend in the lower leagues and uh, he just wasn't good enough to play in the Premier League. But I decided to pick him up to reward him for the service he paid to the club uh, uh, earlier in the save. Trained him up a bit, turned out to be a 76 overall player. Very happy for him. Scored some brilliant goals, some brilliant memories from him. Then Aitora Alamo Cruz, overall of 87, gonna buy two. This guy we picked up in the same year that we picked up Lime Hitra, or whatever his name is. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce it. I should call him John Lewis, the other guy. But this guy was fantastic. He joined the bow when he was 24, 23, 24 as well. We signed him, we swapped Benedetti, we offloaded him in this deal, we signed him for £29 million as well at the time. It was around 82 overall. This guy was fantastic. Top goal scorer in his debut season for us in the Premier League. And we finished about 8th because our defence was just shocking. Estefano Barrero, he came from the free agents list. Overall of 84, one up by 2. I think he is Falcao's region. Not entirely sure though. Then let's get into the strikers. To the proper strikers. Not this guy, but they didn't have the time to materialize. David Tildorczyk, 82 overall, gone up by three. He is Polish. He is the Wobber region. What a player this guy is. He joined from AC Milan because Robert Lewandowski moved to Juventus and retired there. We picked him up in this year, I think, or maybe at the end of last year. Yeah, we can't even sell him, so it was this year. Then Malcolm Lewicki has been with us uh, since League 2. Fortunately, he was about 16 years of age. He joined literally at 65 overall, which was perfect for us. 99 pace. What a player turned out to be. Top goal scorer in every single division we've played in. And uh, Alamo Cruz took the other one in the Premier League. I mean, fantastic player. All across the board. 5'11 is not the tallest, but I'll take it. Especially taking in consideration his movement, his long shots, his technical ability. I rate him. And he has strength, which some of the strikers don't have. Especially the shorter ones. Now, this guy was truly the one that really made me sim a couple more seasons forward in the first place but at the same time we had to shorten the save because of time uh, FIFA 19 is literally around the corner so 
and I still got a series to finish so I had to shorten this one this guy look at his stats 90 overall I just noticed him because we were playing as Portugal and we were facing Poland and this guy was in the Polish national team and he was a region now Robert Lewandowski dropped to about 80 overall that's why I moved I uh, figured out he moved to Juventus and uh, this guy is the Wobber pre-gen which is fantastic we've got not only one but two Wobber prospects that is how great this side is 99, 99 pace 98 dribbling just says it all just says it all now he had some part of the final season unfortunately especially I literally wanted to sim more but I couldn't six foot five ladies and gentlemen now the work rate do not bother me one bit because I can edit those but my god this guy is amazing five star skill moves four star weak for the pace the dribbling the shooting everything six foot five he is the unit he is the unit of this side and the weak is the small quick striker that we had all along he just needed a beast like this like this to partner him Adriano Ogelo he joined uh, on a free from Nice on a free I think he is based off Balotelli I think it is his pre-gen joined a couple of years ago on a free at the same time Moraski came in which was last year at the start of last year and uh, turned out to be a decent super sub for us and Chris O'Neill, this guy has been with us for a long time. He has an injury prone trait. Never had an injury as far as I can remember, which is odd. On his, I think he's been with us since the first, since the very beginning. It's one of the few that has been here from the very beginning. Um, it wasn't supposed to be this good, but I did train him up. And uh, he turned out to be a 79 overall player. Shame we couldn't get him to 80, but he is good enough. He served us well in the lower league, scored some cracking goals, some important goals, and he won us the FA Cup by himself. So I had to keep him in this team. And he can play everywhere, in the attacking midfield or in the other three forward positions in the Christmas tree formation we have. And finally, this is the second Ronaldo region I've had, and it's the second with two star weak foot and five star skill moves. 99 pace, 99 dribbling, 95 dribbling, my bad. 84 shooting. This guy's a beast. Enough said about him. Picked him up this year from Osasuna for £65 million. Pounds. I think we might have put in a few, a bit of a sell on clause to reduce the price. We ended up with zero pounds. We had like 12 million, but we decided to bring Benedetti back. So that's good. I'm going to show you the transfer hub right now. Is there a Chris Davis? No, this, this time there isn't. There isn't. And uh, the best players in the save. Unfortunately, we couldn't pick up Moreo. He moved to Liverpool before expiring his contract, so... Uh, yeah, that went wrong. Then Pazelli region, this Bahabek we've been chasing for a long time. He popped up in Atletico. I think he's Benzema's region. Schneider, German goalkeeper in the Prem. Then Roche from Uruguay. He popped up in Spain, but he moved to Manchester United this year. So uh, good for him. Unfortunately, didn't have the money to pick him up, and we had enough good strikers in our team. Mario Rugasevic. This guy is either um, this guy is either Rakitic or Modric's region. I think it is Modric. Vecino, we wanted to pick him up as well, but again, we didn't have the money, and we decided to go with Diaz Baloli instead because he was six six, and this guy's only five eleven. Sylvan Fasnak, he is a summer's region. From Switzerland, of course. Or Banaglios. Could be Banaglios. Hang on. 
Then El Estondo, centre mid from Spain. He is Gabby's region. He was a bit over, a bit over the potential of Gabby, but I think it is based off of him. Joseph Friedek, he is the only Czech player, the only good Czech player in this save. And 84 overall. This is, uh, was on my radar. Thought about getting him a few times, but we decided to go with Haradiki and Ondan instead. Because Mourinho was asking for a lot of money. Yes, this guy was from Manchester United. Uh, last season, I think it was January, he decided to move to Southampton. I don't blame him. I would do too. Jonas Palacios, the Messi region, didn't pick him up because of that weak foreign skill moves. Enough said. That's disappointing in itself. Ojeda Saranova, the same with the weak foot. I'm not sure which region he is, but he's similar to Conti in the positions as well but I think he's based off the same guy as Triple A then uh, a lot of other guys but I'm not gonna bore you with the stories Chamba's been here for a long time fortunately couldn't pick him up then let me tell you about some of my former players don't think they're here now didn't scout them for this save pardon me we've got Jetty here he played for us, but I decided to move him for £15 million to Stoke City. When he was about 75 overall at 23 years of age. So that was a very good deal. And I'll take it because he was an average player. Maldonado, the Alexis Sanchez region, joined... In the... Joined Manchester United this day after moving to... Montpellier and the uh, Rafael Goal, what a name! Goal in his name, it just shouts goal at you. Right back, he is Piss Jack's regen. He popped up in the free agents when we were in the Prem, but we decided to swap him for the Almeida Montero, and the rest is history. Galen's another former centre back. He's grown to a 78 overall. We got rid of him a few years back when he was about 74. He was 19 years of age. Disappointing how he's grown. Then anyone else we need to know? We need to show you guys. No, not really. Unfortunately, some of the guys that we got rid of just never grew that much. Ricardo Corral. Did the job for us as well in the lower leagues. We eventually sold him to Fulham. Anyone else? Now, we've got Liam Hall here. He, we, sell, we sold him to Nice. We've got Murich. He is Serna's region. He ended up moving to Hertha Berlin. We've got this Parella Ferreira guy, which I think is Kaka's region. He moved to Atletico Madrid. We'll... Play the FA Cup final against Liverpool. And then in the final of the Champions League, we are going to face AS Monaco. Yes, I did not see that coming. I only saw them winning Leipzig in the semi-finals. And I went, that's a great final. Never face the French side, let alone Monaco. Because if we're going to face a French side, it's definitely PSG, isn't it? Unfortunately, especially in FIFA. Are there any good Mauritian players? We can have a check. We can have a check. But I do have two finals to play, so... Uh... Mauritius. Delicious Mauritius. Let's have a look. Any player from Mauritius. Oh, there is Kevin Brew. Oh, I've heard of this guy. I'm pretty sure I've heard of this guy. From the lower leagues, he plays for Fleetwood. Okay. Let's have a, I don't think there is any Chris Davis this save, but we can have a check. Nah, Chris David is the closest and he's a real player. Well, uh, let's have a look then.
Well, let's get into the action. It's time. The talk is done. I have explained, I have documented every single thing you need to know about this save. And, um, yeah, let's get on to the action. I can't wait to show you this strike partnership and try it out myself because I haven't played a lot of games with these guys, especially the good ones. I played most of the lower league games and not the Premier League ones because of time running out on me. Simply did not have the time to play the last few years of this save, which is a shame in itself, but then again, I decided to do a live stream with these guys just before Nina, FIFA 19 came around. So uh, I'm going to jump straight into it. I'm going to put, instead of putting Vassell there, I think we're going to put uh, Peixe Barreto in there. Great name. Fish Barreto. That sounds so awkward. Literally fish in his name. There's uh, something dodgy about that. Well, let's go to Wembley. John. Hello, mate. How are you doing? SVGM Games. The real Kevin Brew moved from Ipswich to Apwell this summer. Well, it's a great name, mate. So, um, yeah. Well, let's jump straight into the game. This for a place in the record books, the history books, and the hands on this wonderful trophy. It's the FA Cup final. There you go, the commentator's building up. It's the FA Cup final. Well, it's always. Here we go. Red. Crawley Town against the final Liverpool. The final of the Emirates FA Cup, watched all around yeah. the world. We're facing off a Kio as well. Alan, he he should be starting. He is a 90 overall defender. Really does the best the player that isn't playing for Crawley Town is really facing Crawley Town today. The best regen player. He should be around there in the team. David Muratsky, look at that, against there. Andrea really Belotti. Must be 90 be overall on. as well, well around that. There he is. There is Muratsky. Sticks really out like really a sore because, thumb. Uh, they really have played well. I uh, think this is Moreo. I've never seen that face before. The there is our starting lineup. We've already seen it, but with the with the FA Cup graphics, not the Premier League ones, we also. Get a grip. Fantastic, that. I'm really in. proud of this side. Billy Morgan has to, to start on that left, on that right hand side. Moravsky and Lewicki with Torres Morales in behind. That's the stuff of dreams. There is the prize we are trying to play. I wanted to put the FA this Cup final side. in the history book, so uh, Four, three, three. decided to live stream this one as well. We're facing off against Gilgo Jota as well. And Didi Pellegrini, Cervella, Velocity, Bergwin as well. There's a Gomez start with Moreo at the back, with Kearney on the left hand side. Or that he has number two because that's normally the right back. And that's the left. And Berkey from Borussia Dortmund is starting in the net. There is Lewis, he must be the keeper because he must be about 35, 36 years old. Must have dropped a bit in overall by now. Even though he's a goalkeeper. Jesus Christ, Ian. How is that not a foul? Two minutes in, he questioning the referee's decision. Yeah, and there you go. Straight in, here is Loiki. That should have been a goal, to be honest. He does miss them kind of chances. We can see the quickness of Loiki to get into that spot in the first place, though. That's what he's good at. He's made a career out of that. You must have seen some of the goals that I posted on Cutsy's Discord as well. I know some of you are in there because I post there regularly the, the, the like stream that. links. Whenever I go live. I don't try not to think the server though. Oh yeah, that guy scored an absolute thunderbolt of a goal. 
and I posted it there, so you should have seen it. Good defending. Oh yes, Muraski, go on! Muraski has stolen the off the defender, and that is one now. What a way to start off this final. And the massive unit up from the Wobber. Wobber has scored. David Muraski. Look at that. Steals it off Moreo as well, I think. Steals it off Moreo. Yeah, and he puts it into the buzzing. top right corner, yeah, like the inside of the crossbar before Wonderful going strike. into the back of the net. That is 1-0. I think one nil here. it's winner. And that is why I signed Moravsky instead of Moreo. Velotti. Could be a chance here. The ball into a good area. Lime yes. Well, John nice Lewis. Skill, oh, okay. well. Come on. It was woeful. Torres Morales doesn't have the space with Jota, but he's instantly cancelled out by Chardonnay. There's Lewicki, play it across. John Lewis can't control it. Ndidi. Here is Ndidi. Now here's an excellent vision. Velotti. Back on to the other side. Tierney plays it through. Pellegrini misses the shot. Go one through if he can get here, he can. Moraski. Yes, play it through. Now Torres Morales waiting for that run. Finish it up. Oh, Moraski should have just dealt with that say. one. Yeah, you can see he just whacked it. He's livid with his man for Instead of trying the, chip, the chip. I saw the goalkeepers coming out though. Good on him He's for fooling me. Here's Moraski. Come on, Moraski. With oh. a Unlucky son. Chardonnay will get the rebound though. There is Luigi. Muscles off the ball by Visor though. Get off me. Bergwin. Bellotti. Bellotti. Bellotti again. Time time, do go wide. Yes, he is Bellotti. Intercepted. Come on, Martel out now. It's a move. Billy Morgan plays it down the line. Moraski with the scoop then. Play it inside. Here is Torres Morales. He's going to pull the defender's step back. Take it that Liverpool 2 0. And Salomon Torres Morales has scored. Get it. The show the here. The and said, right, I've got the win here, and he's got the goal to show that. I love that kind of finish when you don't have to blast there it. There you go, 2 0. Keeper had no chance. And uh, Moreo is full again. Restarting at two he is having a nightmare. You should have joined us, mate, instead of going to Liverpool. Diogo Jota trying to switch on the. Why does this, this guy situation? have silver head when he's called Yogo Jota? Like, no, that is wrong. Good save by Heradic. Bergman's gonna whip this one in, and it scores the far post, and then he hits the crossbar with his header effort. Come on. He got away with that one big time. Indeed, he should have scored that. Well. Any day of the week, good effort, straight in reality, though. Oh, Lima Mendes, you can see he is a centre back by Trey with that ball control. There you go. No win. Ball inside. Perez has got that. Ibolo will whack it clear, finally. And These that is half time. What a first like half that was. In with a fairly comfortable lead, it must be said. I'm really glad that we're already 2 0 up. In a chilled final, but we expected that to be honest. I'm going to bring on Alamo Cruz for his role in the series. I'm going to move Billy Morgan 
up to central attacking midfielder. And uh, Liverpool with his five star skill moves. Well, they've had the first half Come to on. get the occasion really uh, out of their system and concentrate yes, on the Yes, Luiki with the steal. Go on, Luiki. Show us what yeah. you're made of. The strength. Why is there again? The beef on him. They shrug off so the many players of ours. Where is Wayne? Yeah, Lima Mendes floors the guy after well, they passed their way up That's where you want from the defender. Tackle him and you don't allow him to get back up. Well. Lima Mendes plays it through. Here is John Lewis. Play inside. There you go. Alamo Cruz gets the goal. I am so happy for this kid. He deserves it. Especially for his first season at the club. He just hasn't had the same impact because of other players coming in. Like Molina and their stand. But this guy stood above them. Hands down. First goal in the FA Cup as well. I think he must have played in the FA Cup. He must have been standard competition. Or even Billy Morgan, because he only reached in about 79 at the start of this stage, at the start of this year. Great player indeed. Billy Morgan plays it down to Muravsky. Can't play it to Loiki. What's gone wrong for the losing team today because you wouldn't have thought in a game like this a pretty Agrini even game on the, on the break. paper anyway that they would have got more, a no, lot more a than that tackle. Bergwin pulled me there. And uh, time for some subs I think so. Billy Morgan played his part in this final. Pereira Xavier can come on and uh, we'll rest Loiki as well. For the Champions League final. So uh, Barrero's coming on. Another five star skiller. And uh, a five star skiller being replaced Excellent by another five star forward. skiller. He's been off now. And he's been right that is great. You oh, know that you have players that you can well skill with. It's great. To, he's held it up, let them support. And really yes, Barrero Xavier. Play it through. Get it through to the other guy. Oh. oh, someone is injured in the, the, in the box. Smart to lag. Great piece of defending, mate. Well, we Alamo Cruz has picked up a knock. That is not case. good, mate. I hope he can shrug it off. The bar holds on to the ball. You can Trying see the ball control is not his cup of tea. Oh, Jesus well. Christ, that is a horrendous challenge. Weiser gets the ball. This is suddenly cooled down out of nowhere. Liverpool have finally showed up, and the injury to Alamo Cruz has helped that. Because that just mean worried about him. And he's finally got rid of that knock. Fantastic, I want him on the bench for the Champions League final. There's Pereira Xavier, come on mate, play it through. Muraski for 4-0, and it is. It's an on goal by Gomez maybe. But Muraski will take it. Pereira Xavier with the scoop and uh, did his marker and played it through. Good save by uh, the keeper Berkey, but nothing he could have done about that. It is Moravsky's goal afterwards. Don't know, don't know why, but I want the new Spider-Man game. It looks really good. Yeah, it does. It does. Guerrero, play it through. Moravsky, play it to John Lewis. Got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. Whipped in from the wide area. It out, fantastic work. 
Martela had to mark her on the way out. The oh, it's Shots a good effort. It's a good effort by Bellotti. It's a goal for Liverpool. The They've got their consolation. And it's another goal for the neutrals. What a cracking game they've had, by the way. So what? Good, good goal by Bellotti. He's deserved that. He's been isolated up from working hard against uh, the defence. Here we go. Alamo Cruz. Whip it into the box. To that man on screen, Barrero. Yet again, it's a good header round by Gomez. And it's a corner kick. So a deep squeeze and it's a catch by Borky. Imagine a corner goal. Would have been mental. They don't happen that often. The players really must be that brick of a player. And they must be 90 on strength and heading accuracy for it to do actually pop up regularly. He got goal to happen. Be that consistent. Come on, Bilal, you can do better than that. That should have been your goal. No, oh, Barrero, that is a foul! Wow! How is that not a foul? We'll never know. But that doesn't matter, it is full time. 4-1 victory in the FA Cup final. But what is scored the only Liverpool goal. And uh, what a victory here. Moravsky bagged two. Loiki got one and so did Torres Morales. Oh, skip! Oh man, and it's not—it's not the week. It's Alamo Cruz. Oh, that is terrible on my behalf. I apologize, guys. Torres Morales got the man of the match. Moraski close behind with a 9.4, and Alamo Cruz and Diaz Bololi with a 9.5 and a 9.3. So many players over 9.0. Let's get into the big one. Let's get into that Champions League final. That's what we've all been waiting for. There is the FA Cup. Is that? And Liverpool beat Manchester United on the way to the final. What kind of draw was that in the round 16? Interesting. We beat Manchester City, West Ham and Tottenham on the way to the final. So you can't say that we had an easy road to the final. You just can't say that. The football association we faced some of the better Cup teams final. English Crawley football Town has to offer. Four, Liverpool one. Well, Billy Morgan and Moravsky can't go up, so we'll just sim this. But this is the training I've been doing for the final season. This is what got Billy Morgan so up. He's got the ninth, the 82 stamina now. That will help him. Prize money. Don't even care. Let's jump onto the final match of this special video. That's what the people are here for. The Champions League final. Braga got sold. I don't care. Nearly 5 million. Let's go. AS Mod. Crawley Town, 6th of June, 2026. Talk about that for some Illuminati shit. 6th of the 6th of the 2026. There you go. Did Monaco finish 6th, by the way? There are so many 6th uh, goal scorers. Yeah, Lukaku moved to PSG. That's great. That's, that totally would happen in real life. Well, anyways, let's go and face Monaco. Let's have a look at the team. Let's have a look at what we faced. M14, she let's go down to France. AS Monaco should be one of the first. And that side is a bit bad. The one on screen doesn't look that promising. Hang on. Was this the wrong? This was the wrong side. There it is. Mbappe up top with 94, 94 overall, goodness me, they've got Laporte, 
case of old lady Al. They've got Fabinho. Manolas has dropped off by a bit. Ozzyman up front. Moret in the net. Must have been a glitched goalkeeper. Fantastic. What a side we're going to face in the Champions League final. There is Newcastle side. I know you'd want to see this uh, rigged gamer. Adam Armstrong's an 80 overall player. Bongarto, Sportiello and Boy are the better players you have in your side. And Forster, Froster, actually my bad. Johnny's still there as well. Al Sarawi on the left. Hayden is a 79. Looking like a good side. Looking like a good side. Who's this guy? Is this Bernardo Silva? He is. Alright, let's get into the big one. Have a look at Brighton. We will do that, no problem. Um, go off, thank you. There you go, Brighton. Our days up top, 81 overall, some 80s in the defence. Matthew Ryan in the net, that's a good signing. Senzi in the midfield, 83 as well. Phillips. Lee's Malou on the right. Not a bad side, not a bad side. <laughs> yeah, we still have Adam Manstrom, that's good. Right, I'm not checking any more teams. Let's have a look at what we are going to face. It's time for the Champions League final. And we are sponsored by Checker Trade, which totally ruins the vibe, but we don't care. Who am I going to put? Peche Barreto, of course. This guy's been with us for a long, long time. Veritu. I'm going to play... Now, I have to play Billy Morgan for this one. There is no chance. This guy's been here for absolute ages as well. We'll have to put some different players on the bench. We'll pour Dante the Silver instead of Esser. He's been for us. He's been with us for a longer time. Um, Molina can go off for O'Neill. Rekic. Nah, Rekic is not good enough to play. Who do we put in? Stans. Stans hasn't been here for a long time. He only joined a couple of seasons ago. And Volvon, Vol, Von Balmos has the suspension. So I don't think there is anyone else to put in here. Yeah. We'll roll with the side. Why not? We're playing at Old Trafford, the theatre of dreams. There we go. What is wrong with Checker Trait? Because we never rate that trophy. Literally never rate that trophy. Even though we've won the Champions League more times. We don't rate that trophy. Well, here we go. That is the starting lineup that's going to go ahead and face AS Monaco in the Theatre of Dreams for the ultimate club football trophy. There's literally nothing wrong with Checker Trade, mate. It's just the thing that it sponsors the same as the trophy. Alright. It is Loiki. Let's show off a bit of your quickness, a, a bit of your thickness. There you go. Look at this. The dribbling. The dribbling is superb. There you go. Look at this for close. This is what you call close control. Oh yes. Oh yes, mate. God, he's going all the way with this. If he doesn't make a mistake, we'll go all the way with him. He just takes off. Like literally putting the ball under the defender's nose and he's just sitting there. Oh, the quickness of that turn. 
There you go. Too easy for him. It's Lawiki. The speed is just unreal in this lad. Ah, oh, he made a mistake there. We'll get into the final. It's been a season long. Here we go. Fitted in, of course, with the domestic commitments of both these clubs. But how well they've done in the Champions Cup to reach this final. I wonder who will prevail. We'll find out shortly enough. Well, this is a great day for the Champions Cup final. Champions it's League action at Old Trafford here. Hopefully it will Can't wait. I think so. I think it will, Martin. I hope we've got Then we've got we still got the same well BTEC today. commentators as always, but we don't care about that. Look at that stage. There is our run to the final. Boy is Leverkusen and Barcelona we defeated. We defeated okay the Saranovas Milan in the semi-finals. They should be able to play on a wider front now, Alan, shouldn't they, with the signing of this winger? And yeah, uh, they're a bit narrow, I thought, yeah, we're previously. Gonna so this will play widen the pitch a bit. Against should Monaco be a here. Defeated Red Bull Leipzig in the semis. Monaco's lineup today. Costas Manolas starts with Americ Laporte as the centre-backs. Fabinho starts with Suelijo Meite in the middle. They've got plenty of goal threat with two strikers. There it is, exactly the like the team sheet suggested. It is the same side that we saw earlier. Dalba is the weakness at left back, to be honest. Even he is a decent one. 80 overall. Everybody above 80 in the AS Monaco lineup. Now we can check on the line. So it's a solid side. Well, it's 4 4 2 Here, for them today. It's more everyone above like 83, yeah, isn't it? Them a bit of From a bit of a now, my club's 83. Uh, He's the lowest the rated player. We're well, rating on with Peixe Moretto. Simple because he can play out wide better than Moretto does. There it is, our starting oh, lineup. Unfortunately, we don't have the Champions League graphics, oh, but it will have to do. Let's get into the final. It should be a fantastic contest. Here we go. Mbappe. Ho oh, ho. Oh. a throw it. Chardonnay. Mbappe. Tight to the touchline. There you go. Get it throw. off Mbappe's feet and quickly. We know what he's capable of. Here we go. Oh, Jesus, Fabinho with the strength. He's going to be one hell of a player for Liverpool, and unfortunately, Jose Mourinho just didn't pick him up. Good position. They've worked this attack didn't. very well. It is Mbappe. Plays it inside. Balde shoots it on the bar. The that would have been for them, Alan. Come on. First goal we need so to early, get into this final. We definitely need that. Lima so Mendes. Oh yes, that is coolness, right there. Morales play it through. Here is Moraski for one nil. It's a good save by Moret. First big opening no of this over. game for us. Costas Manolas. We are showing Monaco we are there. We are showing the putting our face out there. That's a good spot by the defender. What we need to do? Put pressure on them. And the goal play. will come. On the attack oh, here. oh Jesus, that is a bad challenge by Barreto. And Barpe with the free kick, always dangerous. Barreto, that's not the pass. Wow, FIFA, don't do this to me, not today. Using his physical power not in the to biggest game the ball. Very good indeed, of this the game. Move has broken yes. down. Play down the line, here is Billy Morgan. Time to expose his five-star skill moves. Here he goes. Yeah. Wrong skill move. Yes, Chardonnay with the footy. Vigno. Here's Mbappe. 
Oh, completely missed that challenge. Get away from me. Oh, wow. Mbappe has scored. Lucky he got into that position, but credit to the lad. He's he finished that beautifully. He's a 90 overall, 94 overall player, so you'd expect him to do so. But he's trying to get to the ball there, and the guy just shoots me off. In you go. Easy as you like. It looks easy, doesn't it? But I can tell you it's not. You have to be literally the just stand there. My player. So the first goal is 1-0. Now they've got the ball. Billy Morgan can't what get can through. This is not going to plan. Back to it. Yes, Billy Morgan, well played. Lama Haritra. There is Lima Mendes. Play it. There is Moraski. Play it through. Kimmer is looking to a good save by Murray. It's a corner. We we'll whip it in. It's towards Peche Barreto. Should have been a goal, that to be honest. He win. Like that in that position, you need to finish that. Ruddock would have saved that. I mean, it's not the keeper's attack. fault, to be honest. Safety first there. And now a throw in. Here is Loike. Lima Mendes. Play it. Moraski. Being pushed off the ball. Jesus Christ. Here is Billy Morgan to get his Champions League goal. Can't turn around to shoot. Head it away. That's not heading it away. Maybe that will ease the pressure. Oh, the ball. I literally put my player on the position to have lost that and he didn't. He so didn't. It's pointless. John Lewis plays it inside. Luigi don't have the space to turn. Yes, Baloli, proper challenge that. I rate it so much. Back heel. Here is Moraski with the effort. Should have aimed more for the corner instead of the corner flag. Corner of the goal. I mean, should aim more for the corner of the goal. Really Seven corner so mm -hmm. There you uh, go. Moraski. The strength will help him out here. He's here is Moraski. The turn. Like oh, Billy Morgan's offside, surely. Oh no, he isn't. He isn't. Well, he should have scored that. He should have. Half time and we're down 1 0. We need to come back. Monaco are up through an Mbappe goal. It's the only shot of the game. Literally the only shot of the game. We, we need pace. We need someone that can just blitz through the defence. And that guy is Alamo Cruz, to be honest. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm disappointed with John Lewis, so I'm going to take him off. And I want to give... We are losing, we are losing. I can't really do that. We'll bring on these two for now. We'll leave the third and final sub for later. First half, flash by. Second half underway here. Champions Cup final. Yeah, and the chance for yeah, people sorry, just to Morales. sit down in that dressing room at half time. Well, we can, the worst the first touch I've ever seen minutes. from him. On the attack here. Yes. Pereira Xavier, play it through. The fourth intercept. Fabinho, Mata. Who's Pereira Xavier? Play it inside. Fabinho. Oh, come on, stop throwing on it like a fly. I hate that. The players just take the little. Littlest that is even a word, Good. and just fall, like, fall down like a sack of sportsman. Come so on, Moraski, hey, here we go, Moraski, Lions into the box. Can he finish? That? He can. It's a mess. Get in. Take that, Murray. I'm so happy. He's just come back. That makes. 
Morata with his fourth goal in the Champions League. We're gonna have to go to the instant replay because I just skipped it. There you go. Let's have a look at this for a nutmeg. Get ready. Bang. Straight through the legs. Oh, that 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 face. Let's get that face. I just be that. I just been Meg face. There you go. Like crap. It's gone behind me. Oh. Torres Morales hasn't been great. We can bring on O'Neill now. What a story it would have been if O'Neill got the goal. Now in the opposition, he's all over the place. Just Torres Morales hasn't been that great, to be honest. Morasky. We didn't get that. Yes, Charmaine, come on, mate. Accelerate, yes. Play it down the line. Here is Moraski. Yes, Ronaldo chops, cross it in. What a ball into Paul Rosavio. Should have scored that. In the end, it's a good save by Murray. Edda, there we go. O'Neill should have played it onto the other side. Jim yeah. Osman, Ace of Balde, yes. Good, Good challenge, challenge by Martela. Fabinho, edit out of Lima Mendes, would have nice head of that. Yes, O'Neill plays Morasky. it forward, here is Moraski. Wrong skill move. Mbappe. Mbappe. Plays it to strike on now. Back to Una. Chardonnay shouldn't have touched it. Here is Mbappe. Good block by Barreto. I rate that. Una is going off for El Ghazi. Wow, they've got some players, haven't they? Fair enough. Monaco are a decent side here in this case. Yeah, so Neil with the back heel. Go on. Alamo Cruz. Muraski. That's the football we want to see. Here is Luigi. Play it onto the left. Here is Pereira Xavier. Can he get the goal? Couldn't have taken the shot. And he's injured. Fantastic. I didn't want to kill some of the Monaco players because of that. Yes, Chardonnay. Play it forward. Here's Alamo Cruz. Oh, yes. Brilliant footwork. Here is Alamo Cruz with the long shot. He's done better. Pereira Xavier still with the knock. Yes. Alamo Cruz going to the byline, he's going to swing it in, it's a bad cross. Lima Mendes will collect it though at the other end of the pitch. There is Sporting, save again. Fantastic save by Murray, so deserved to win this now. Pereira Xavier with the cross in. Morat is putting direct the header on target. Didn't have the time to turn and get into the position he needed to be. To have that one cross goal. Sorted it well, out eventually. Ball well, down the line, Alamo shouldn't have been superb contest. there, but we just lost it. Got the it was Balde, the good ball roll inside, and he set the post. Get it out of here. There you go, O'Neill. Let's counter attack now. Play it through. Here is Luigi. Has a man over here. Here is Alamo Cruz. Can we win it here? Come on. Luigi, come on. He should have scored it to the block by Fabinho anyway. Get the corner. It's Chardonnay. Swings it in towards Pesce Barreto. Pesce Barreto has won it for us. He's going to celebrate in front of the camera. There you go. Letting them know what he's all about. Not the hero I expected to be, but I'll definitely take it. Head the rim by none other than Pesce Barreto. And he has fished the goal here. 
And what a time to fish a goal. And your first goal in the Champions League as well, mate. You're genius. Well, a very exciting climax to an exciting game. This could be the decider. Well, it could be at this stage of the match. It doesn't seem and Monaco don't well, even have the time for another attack. What a way to win the time. Champions League final. But they are the champions. Alan, yeah. Absolute joy amongst those players. They've worked Who long won? and hard, haven't they, over the course of the last nine months or so. And Goals by Moravsky and Peche Barreto. Not the hero I expected to be. A very successful but I'll take it. Chris O'Neill played the part in the final as well. I'm happy for him. Well, it's been a terrific final. And there you go. And a terrific tournament. Right from the he eventually rounds, got it done. Stages. And here we I are know who's the captain. At the climax of it all, Alan. Yeah, it's the pinnacle of club football isn't it for these professionals a day a don't know who's the captain for this game I think it is Lima Mendes is going to lift them. it it is they are we go Europe's Lima elite. Mendes Crawley Town as Champions League winners for 2025-2026 almost 10 years down the road where at the start we could hardly feel the team now we have won the Champions League trophy. Well, they're going over to their there you supporters go. now. And they're still together in the celebrations as they have been through the season. Yeah, you do get the feeling with these boys, they are a proper unit. There's really good team spirit within that dressing room, which you need. But any successful club, these have certainly been that. Fantastic teams. And the aerial shots as well. Well, you have to have the team photo. There go. There, there they go for the team photo. Look at that. Wait, wait for this slap. Right now, okay? Hand on the wall back at home. Boom. Right in the face of Martelat right there. Amazing scene. We so deserve to win this final. It had drama, had goals. What a hero Peixe Barreto is for scoring that goal. And Moraski close second with Chardonnay as well. 9.1 for both. Lima Mendes, the captain, had an 8.0. And the substitutes were spot on. It was just not meant to be Billy Morgan's day. Well, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's a refreshing way. To win the Champions League with a corner header. Get in. Champions. Thanks, Tomahawk. I appreciate that. Monaco one, Crawley Town two. And yeah, that is it for this little special stream. Just sim a couple of days forward just to see the other players that didn't have the rating. But there you go. See the new stand. Crawley Town win the Champions League. There you go. Let's have a look at the three players. Actually, the four players. 65 overall. There you go, Saka. Muric is 81. Perella Ferreira is 78. And Liam Hall is 75. No wonder why we sold him. So many international players, they can't even fit the the page because I used to manage Portugal. Oh yeah, look at that. Look how many internationals we've got. Bang Wang is playing for China. Dante de Silva, Algelo's playing for Italy, Peixe Barreto's playing for Brazil, Cambados for Chile, Pia for Portugal, Ondan for the Netherlands. Alamo Cruz for Spain, Billy Morgan for England, he's finally got the call up. Heradaki for Finland as he'd expect, Lima Mendes for Portugal and he is below for Brazil. Chardonnay for Spain, Molina for Italy, Torres Morales for Spain and finally Luigi for Sweden. Poland didn't qualify, Lima Heritra didn't got called up for France somehow. I don't know how he didn't got called up. 
must have been injured throughout the time that we uh, that the national team selection was going on. Hello, I haven't been here for a while. West Brom, Everton and Southampton got Champions League football. I know, I know. This table looks so fucked up. Manchester United was second throughout most of the season. They've just fallen down the pecking order. And uh, I played West Brom just to make sure I would have won that. To make sure if I played the league I would have won this season. Like a few games before we ended, we faced West Brom right here. We dominated the game, just didn't score. And we played with the... Where is it? We played with this side. Ex exactly the same, didn't even change it. And I played with the other... Played with the other Portuguese players like Braga and Perez. And absolutely annihilated the West Brom, so... I think I would have won the league if I played anyway, so uh, yeah. There you go. That is it for the stream. I hope you have enjoyed it. I'm going to see you all next time. And until then, have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.